uh, on the next card again. So uh, most of the people that didn't see you will see a tremendous action back fighter. Well, I feel bad. I feel bad for my fans. The you know, a lot of the fans came and all. That's what I feel bad for. But I'll be training hard. I'll be here next time to do well. Well, Mark, if you care to join us here, score along with Mark and I with this next fight, we'd like to have you. Yeah, that's right. I'm here. Okay, we have uh, Sal Rocky Sinicola from Riverdale, Rivervale, New Jersey, in a sixth round against Willie Fisher of Patterson, New Jersey, 135 lightweight. We have Ed Darien in the ring. Now, you know anything about Sinicola, Mark? Well, here he's a heck of a punch. Uh, uh, I know Johnny Torres real well. He's training down other gyms, and uh, he's a real good trainer. Uh, I see last time Sinicola knocked his opponent out first round. I think he's a real, got a heavy punch. 90 with six knockouts. So I guess uh, maybe we won't blink once more. What do you think about Pat Catania, that last fight, a heavy body puncher? Heavy body puncher, and, uh, not a hell of a real good boxer, but uh, he's got a good fight. He's got a good fight. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that either. Well, let's go up to ring announcer Ed Darian as we have these lightweights scheduled for six rounds. Richie Giacchetto up in the ring. with the call. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is scheduled for six rounds, and it's in a junior welterweight division. Only one change in officials. Counting for the knockdown seconds, alternate referee Vinny Reynone. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled sixth round of junior welterweight bout, Referee Randy Newman. And now, boxing fans, introducing the principals. First, in the back runner, wearing big white trunks with the black trim. He weighed in at an even 139 pounds. This gentleman hails from nearby Patterson, New Jersey. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Willie Fisher. Fisher. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with the green and red trim. He tipped in at 134 and three-quarter pounds. This young man hails from Rivervale, New Jersey. Boxing fans, here is Sal, Lucky Sinatola! Sinatola! Now the ref the uh, referee's instructions to both fighters. Uh, I'll give the instructions while waiting for the mouthpiece. When I say break, I mean break. I don't want to have to get in there and wrestle with you, but I will. Do you understand that? I want a clean fight. I don't want any butts. I don't want any thumbing. I'll enforce the rules at all times. Is that clear? Defend yourselves at all times. Shake hands and come out at the belt. Hello. Well, gentlemen, this promises to be an action-packed evening here, especially this fight. Fisher comes from Columbia, South Carolina, now resides in Patterson. He's a heavy puncher with a professional record of 8-3-1, and, and this battle promises to be a real slugfest. Sal Seneco is the fighting hairstylist. The fighting, he's a hairstylist uh, in his other occupation besides fighting. And if you took notice up in the corner, you might have seen a familiar face to boxing. That's Richie Giacchetto. That's the former trainer of Larry Holmes. Yes, it is. I wonder if he still has that lawsuit against Holmes for one point so odd million. Either he has the money or the suit, one or the other. It, for you all regionalist boxing fans, you might notice the referee, that's Randy Newman. You might remember a couple years ago, Randy Newman was a world-ranked heavyweight. Fought Chuck Wepner in a couple. He was a former state champ. He was ranked in the top ten in the world as a heavyweight. He fought Wepner a couple times in a couple real brawls. He's a real fine gentleman. Well, he's in a safer profession, Mark. Yeah. He's a, he still looks in decent shape. Well, we're waiting here. Some equipment adjustment. With Willie Fisher, we're all set to go, and uh, round one is just about to begin. Dennis Miller, Mark Lavis, and Mark Pickner here at ringside. Look, a, he's, a, he's a boxer puncher, but he's a slugger. He brings the action right to his fighter. Both men at long range. A little showmanship by Jimmy Cole. Filling this guy out a little bit. So he's gonna run into the attack. Much movement by Fisher early. I just try to cut the ring off on him there, Mark. I was definitely trying to cut the ring off. He's doing a job on the inside. I'm going to keep five fighters in there. I've seen Senecola fight years ago in the amateurs. 
Masters and he's been through his career. I've been uh, fortunate to, you know, to be around the area and he's, he's always a, a fine tuned athlete. He's in fine, excellent condition. Both boxers seem real relaxed in this round one here, Mark. Mark Fickner. Okay, they both look in the United States and he's real relaxed, but uh, you don't want to get too relaxed. The kill can come anytime. This is true. He's uh, a little too close, though. He, he puts his punches together, but they're a little too close. You got to just take a step back when he gets inside. Pretty quick smoke movement on from Sal Rocky and Tina Sola here in this first round as Willie Fisher. Fisher has that uh, left hand up by him. trying to go to the body. Yeah, that's going to be the keynote for Sacola. If you notice Fisher, the thing he's doing once, Mark will probably pick this up. When he's backed into the ropes, he's standing square. He's a square target. He should be cut off on an angle so that he doesn't have a, such a big hitting surface. But he's, he's, flat, he's flat against the ropes. And he's, got, he's looking at the whole shot of his body. Instead of having a side angle here. Underneath, referee Newman says, "Stick him up, pick him up, them punches." You know, there, there's real fine training there. Santa Cola had him hurt, and he stayed on the body. As I always, I always said, stay on the body, stay on the body. But especially when you have your man in trouble, stay on that body. And Santa Cola's a real good body puncher. He should pick up a few shots off with his arms and body, but uh, most of those are getting in. Santa doing some nice body work out there. That's when his hands are going to fall for this because you're running in there. Fisher that time. He don't seem to like those punches, Mark. Not at all. He's doing Fisher trying to pull him back, but here comes Sinicola. Trying to drop a combination. A left hook, right hand. And Willie Fisher bounces away from the corner. A lack of experience. Yeah, yeah Fisher. Fisher's choice by that Gia Cole did a nice job. He should put his punches together, which he did, but he should take his time and put him in accurate areas. We'll be back with more professional boxing from Ice World in just a moment. We're going to pick up action in round number two. Red, white, and green, too. The other uh, people who are familiar with Vinny uh, Pazienza, Jersey lightweight, dynamite fighter also in his own right. And Fisher's having all he can do just to keep moving around, throwing that jab. Uh, he wants to mix it up inside of all his uniforms. I just noticed over in Santa Cola's corner, G Richie Giacchetta, throwing style to come in and end it. Yeah. put a clinic on, he worked the body, worked the body, and then the body fell, there came the head, and down he went. Real nice, real nice shot up, a fine body attack. That was one minute and one second, gentlemen. So we're on a string here, a one minute fight there. But I'll tell you what, these aren't really overmatched fights, it's just that Catanio, he dropped some bombs to the body, which was devastating, and his fighter must have, O'Connor must, must have, have uh, some broken ribs, and Sinicola, I'll tell you, that was a picture right hand. Beautiful. 